and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our Just Stitching Double Rectangles and these dies are so awesome because, as you guessed it, they just stitch. So when you cut them into your cardstock, they create this really cool stitched detail. So here you can see a little close-up of the die and you can see there's just stitching there but no cut line. So I wanted to give you a little look as to what these look like cut out of some cardstock. So here I have a standard size cardstock here at five and a half by four and a quarter, and we're going to line up one of those just stitching rectangles in that cardstock, and you'll see how beautiful that looks. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to line up all of the dies in the same sized cardstock. So you can see the different sizes relative to a standard size card. So they're really, really beautiful for quick and easy cards to just highlight a sentiment or highlight an image. They look really, really awesome. The other thing that you can do with them is you can layer them together. So here we're going to die cut two different rectangles out of one piece of cardstock. And so this is a really, really neat look too, and it also gives this beautiful detail on a clean and simple card. So you can take any of the sizes of rectangles and mix and match them. So here we've chosen two a little bit closer together, and then these here are a little bit further apart from each other. And here is a look at a bunch of different combinations. You can mix and match these depending on what kind of look you're going for. So in this video, we're gonna make four different cards. And the first one we're making here is with smooth sailing. So I've stamped and colored and cut some of the images. And we've also stamped the boat on some of this really rainbow pattern paper. And we're gonna do some paper piecing. So I'm just gonna take those scissors and trim right along the black line of the two sails of the boat. Once we have those trimmed out, we can take those pieces and layer them over the stamped and die cut boat image. And this is gonna make it look like one of those beautiful sailboats that have those really pretty colored sails. I love seeing those like in the sailing competitions. So I thought it'd be fun to create one like that. And using up pattern paper scraps is a really cool way to create really cool, unique boats. So we've layered those on there. And then the next step is to take that cute little bunny and bear from the stamp set and layer them in the boat too. So we're gonna add a little foam square on the back of each of those and then have them hang out in the boat together, which is just so adorable. Next up, we're gonna use one of the Just Stitching Double Rectangles. And so I love this for a clean and simple card because I feel like it adds just a little extra something to it. So I was trying to pick which rectangle, so I put my stamped image on there and I wanted there to be a little space around it, but not too much. So kind of mixed and matched and tried to see what would look the best. And that one that's on the card already was the cutest to me. So I'm gonna layer that right in the center of my piece of cardstock, hold it in place with some low tack tape, run it through the die cut machine. And now I'm gonna have this gorgeous stitch detail in the center of the card. Next, we're gonna take some Tumble Glass Distress Oxide ink and one of these ink blender brushes, and we're gonna start in the center of this piece of cardstock and go out in circular motion, building that color up. And so this is gonna kind of look like the ocean behind our sailboat. So you'll see I'm just repeating it over and over again, starting in the center and then blending that color out to the sides, kind of going a little bit over that stitching area, which I think looks really, really pretty. So we're recreating a card by Kay today. So thank you so much, Kay, for letting us recreate your card for the video. So now we've added some foam squares to the back of the sailboat and the clouds. And so we're gonna layer that sailboat right in the center of that stitched rectangle, and then add the clouds around the boat, kind of tucked behind the boat to help really create that scene. Next, we're gonna take out some really rainbow scallops paper, and this paper reminds me of the ocean, and that blue color is really similar to the tumbled glass distress ink. So that's a standard size piece at five and a half by four and a quarter. We're gonna layer that onto a card base, and then we'll take that entire panel that we've been working on and add some foam squares to that, and then layer that onto the pattern paper. You can see just how cute this little scene is looking. To finish up the card, we need a sentiment. So I'm gonna die cut a sentiment banner die out of some white cardstock, and then we'll stamp one of the sentiments from Smooth Sailing, which says, wishing you smooth sailing, which is super, super sweet. So we're gonna stamp that out and then just layer that whole banner on with some tape runner. That way that bow is still really just the star of the show. And now this card is all done. It was really quick and easy for me to make and absolutely adorable, and I love that stitching detail. Next up, I wanted to create a little mini card. So I pulled out one of my mini just stitching rectangles, but I wasn't sure how much area I wanted outside of it. So I kind of placed it on my cardstock, messing around, trying to see what I liked. And then I used my ruler to measure how much that was so that I could easily trim that down. And I decided on about a quarter inch on either side, top and bottom and side to side of that cute little rectangle. So we're gonna trim down that piece of Spiffy Speckles paper 
Next, I wanna create a ground for this piece of paper here. So that's gonna be my sky. So I wasn't sure how high up to make the ground. So I'm just using my ruler there as a guide to kind of see what would look nice. And once I've got that amount, I can go ahead and trim down my pattern paper scrap there to fit this little piece. I'm gonna trim it to the same width as well. And now I can layer that right on. And I like to eyeball it with a ruler. That way I'm not cutting my pattern paper too small and then wasting a piece of pattern paper. Now we're gonna layer that just stitching rectangle on there and run it through the die cut machine. And I love the look of that stitched going through the two different types of patterns. So next up here, I've got my Critter Chatter pet stamp set and then the Say What pet stamp set. And I wanted to use that cute little bird because I had colored him but not used him on a card yet. So I love how that rectangle frame just highlights him perfectly. I decided I wanted to give him kind of like a little baseboard, like that was the floor and then he had a little baseboard there. So I trimmed down a piece to be a quarter inch wide. And then I'm gonna stamp out this little speech bubble from the Say What Pets. And then I was trying to decide which word from the Critter Chatter I wanted to use. But before stamping, I wanted to add a little highlight with a really light blue green marker just there in that bottom left hand corner of the speech bubble. I was deciding between the tweet and the chirp and I thought the chirp chirp was really cute. So I'm stamping that out in some bubblegum ink to match the pink in the pattern paper. And then we'll use the coordinating die to cut that out. Next, I'm gonna take that little baseboard piece and add a tape runner and layer that junction between the two different pattern papers, which I think really gives it a nice finished look. And then we're gonna layer on that cute little bird and the chirp chirp speech bubble with some foam squares. To finish up this quick and easy card, I wanted to use another piece of paper from the Really Rainbow because I knew it would coordinate with that rainbow stripe. So I wasn't sure which color to use, but when I got to this purple coming up here, I was like, that's perfect. It made the whole thing pop. So we're gonna trim that to have an eighth inch border all around this little mini card base. And then we're gonna also score a mini card base there. And that's gonna be four by two and a half. Then the next step is to just layer all of our pieces together. And this card was super, super quick and easy to make. And you could use this same layout with the bird and the dog and the cat from the Say What Pet. So I can't wait to make more of these, especially using up cute little pattern paper scraps that I have there. The other thing that I really, really love is the look of that rectangle interrupted by that piece of white cardstock. It's so cool and fun. So we're gonna create another quick and easy card here. And we have one of the Just Stitching rectangles we're gonna cut out of a guava card base. And that's a standard size card base and we're using the second largest rectangle. We'll run that through the die cut machine and now have that beautiful stitch detail on the card. Then we're gonna take out some pattern paper from the Really Rainbow Scallops in a red color that's gonna kinda of coordinate with that pink. And we're gonna take another rectangle and layer that onto the pattern paper. So I really like that this is gonna have this kind of dual layered stitched rectangles. We've die cut another sentiment banner out of white cardstock and we're going to stamp this super cute sentiment from the new birthday before and afters, which is just so adorable. And then we're going to stamp the happy birthday from that set directly onto the pattern paper. And I like the mix of the two layers of sentiments, one directly on and one on a cool little banner. We'll add some foam squares to that pattern paper piece and then layer that onto the cardstock and that stitching is going to just frame it perfectly. Then we'll layer some foam squares on the back of that cute little bird popping out of the present and the sentiment too. And then to finish it up, the birthday before and afters has this cute little confetti die. And so we're gonna take those little die cut and colored pieces and layer them all around the card as if the confetti had popped out of the box when the bird popped out of the box. And now the card is all done and super cute. And I love how those stitched details just really make it feel really, really special. So for the last card, we're gonna do some fun water coloring with Distress Inks. And so we're gonna take all of these inks and smear them onto a craft mat. Then we're gonna take a large paintbrush dipped in some water and we're gonna wet that whole paper. And so that's watercolor paper there. And by adding the water to it, it's gonna help these inks really move as you add them. So the next thing we'll do is take a smaller paintbrush, dip it in that water and pick up one of those ink colors. And you'll see as we add the ink color, it's gonna start moving around the paper and look really, really pretty. And so this is really fun to do, really relaxing. There's no right or wrong way to do it. You can just layer those colors on until you just love how they look. And it's just gonna be this really fun abstract thing. As you start layering those colors on there, if your paper dries up a little bit, you can take your bigger paintbrush and add a little more water on there, and then those colors are really gonna move around. 
Next up, we're going to dry it and kind of see what it's looking like. And as Shari took a look at it, she was like, you know what? I think I need to add a little more color. So we're going to smear those inks on the mat again and just layer the watercolor right over the dried area. And it's going to look so amazing this way. So you can keep building up your color until it's even more bold on your cardstock, just depending on what look you're going for. So we've layered all those pieces on there and then we'll take the heat gun again and dry it and kind of take a look at what it's looking like and it's looking pretty awesome right now. So the next step we're going to do is just trim off all of the edges so that that color looks like it's continuously going from all four edges of the card. Now the next step Shari's doing is she's using her dies before she actually snipped them apart with her wire snips and she's going to layer them on her card in this cool diagonal pattern. But if you've already snipped your dies apart then all you need to do is just layer them and hold them in place with a really long piece of washi tape. So you can layer all those dies, put a couple pieces of washi, it'll hold it in place and then you can layer them onto your card and get this really cool texture that way either at the diagonal like Shari did here or you can do it straight up and down so there's lots of fun looks that you can get with it. Now here we've taken that paintbrush and we're going to layer it in some water and then pick up some of that watercolor paint and splatter it by tapping the edge of the paintbrush and that's going to give it this really fun confetti feel. Then we'll take some foam tape and put that on the back of that whole watercolor pattern paper and then we can layer it onto the card base. We're going to use that same birthday before and after stamp set and we're going to stamp out the happy and birthday in some clear embossing ink on some black licorice cardstock. Then we'll take that cardstock and dip it in some white heat embossing powder and then we can go ahead and stamp the rest of the sentiment and then add a little more white heat embossing powder. Then we can heat that up and have the nice bright white shiny sentiment and then we can start to trim down these letters. And so when you trim them down this way, it kind of ends up looking almost like one of those little Dymo labels. I think it's really fun. And then you can place them anywhere around your card. Next, we're going to add some foam squares to the back of those sentiments and also onto that cute little cake, which is just adorable. I love the little kind of ribbon banner going around the edges of it. And then we can layer those little birthday sentiments. And you'll see we kind of have them going a little bit at an angle, which really matches with the angle of that stitching detail. And then we'll go ahead and stamp a bunch of confetti around the card. So I love that you can use these dies as a way to frame up your images like we did towards the beginning, or you can use them as a really cool texture on some pattern paper or on a really cool ink blended or watercolor backdrop. The last step here is to use a little stickles glitter glue and add a little flame to those candles. And the card is all done and super cute. I just love that watercolor background. It's beautiful, just gorgeous. Next up, we have some amazing cards by the design team. And this card by Elise is so sweet. I love how she framed up her on the beach scene with that really awesome stitched rectangle. Here, Leticia created a really cute scene with our seahorse and a round stamp set. And I love that that stitching detail just adds a little extra something to her clean and simple card. Here, Audrey did a similar technique with just a couple of those rectangles, adding the texture on her watercolor background, just beautiful. And then here, Elise framed up her cute little rainbow of seahorses with two of those stitching rectangles. You can see just how gorgeous that looks in her ink blended background. Here, Audrey used all of the rectangles for that telescoping effect, but she has them straight up and down instead of at an angle. And I really love this look too. And then here, I love how Lynette layered that behind her cool little die cut flower. It really frames the whole card up. So I can't wait to see what kind of cool and awesome ways you use these just stitching rectangles. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.